the moment I've been waiting for. Removing my license plate from this car. Picking up the Type R Take One. Uh, what's up everyone? Um, today is Saturday. As some of you may know, um, they, um, Honda got hacked like real bad. And um, I was supposed to take delivery of my 2020 Civic Type R uh, yesterday. And what happened is Honda got hacked and they cannot print the contract anymore. So I'm still in my 2017 Honda Civic Touring, which I never really liked. So today um, we are going to hopefully get the Type R. The, uh, my salesman told me, well, Dom, I can deliver the car to you today with some paperwork like handwritten paperwork and it should work so this is take one if it doesn't work I'm going to put that anyway in the video and film the other part if I'm taking delivery next week but anyway it's going to be fun a few moments later well uh, I guess uh, it worked as you can see behind me there is my 2020 Civic Type R. I'm actually super excited about getting this car and I decided to do this video today uh, just to run you through what went in my mind in order to uh, buy a Civic Type R. There's a lot of reason why I actually got this car. So as you may know, uh, Honda got hacked this past week and it gave them the problem of not being able to deliver the cars so we actually found this car this past Monday so about a week ago and uh, the car was transported all the way back to Montreal so they can deliver to me and we prepped the car got the window tinted and everything and the delivery was supposed to be scheduled on Friday but because of that cyber attack that they they got um, they couldn't do the contract in order to deliver the car so it was a bit of a pain in the ass but I found a way because one of my friend works for Honda and we found a way to deliver the car so I needed to go clean the car myself because the preparation on the car wasn't done at the time and I really wanted the car for the weekend you know I'm the type of guy who go to the dealership and wash his own car yeah the Corvette is right there so I did the first wash on my car and I'll take delivery, hopefully, tomorrow. So I got the, uh, the car this past Saturday, June 13, and um, it's the one year anniversary of the Corvette. So I actually got that car on the one year anniversary of the Corvette, which is kind of fun. But anyway, the Type R, there's something about this car. I've been wanting one ever since I played Gran Turismo 1. So if you are in your 30s, you know what I'm talking about. And this car, uh, at first I was supposed to get the championship white collar, but I saw a Boost Blue about a, a week and a half ago and I fell in love with it. One thing though that I really wanted to do and I couldn't was the delivery video because yesterday everything was rushed. Uh, I, was, I wasn't even supposed to take the car yesterday. We ran down some problems with the entrance because there is no insurance company open on the weekend. So I had to find new insurance for the car, which was a bit of a hassle, but I really wanted to get my Type R for the weekend. Uh, I'm going to show it to you. It's, it's a run of the mill Type R. So basically you're, you know what it is, but this is the 2020 model. So there's a bit of, like there are some new tweaks in this car uh, that really makes a difference between this one and the 2017, 2018 to 19 model. Um, it's not just look. I know there is some difference in the front end of the car, but 2020, believe me, I haven't driven any 2017 to 19 model, but believe me, this 2020 is brutal. So uh, here's the car. I'm going to show it to you real quick. Uh, the color is called Booze Blue. It's not a solid color. It's actually a pearl. Uh, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it on video, but it's actually a pearl, a bit like my white Civic. Same thing, but in blue. Uh, I think, honestly, it looks super awesome. 
uh, it's way better in real life than what you see in the video so if you love it on video you're definitely going to love it in real life it kind of resembles the focus rs collar but a bit more i don't know saturated this is where you can see the big changes between a 2020 model and um, the older one so there's these brand new hockey stick blades um, now there's no more fake grills they decided to block everything uh, the grill is actually wider in the front and the on the badge is smaller I think everything is way more uh, balanced in the front it looks way better they increase airflow through the radiator and everything there's much more opening now so uh, from what I've heard these cars got a tendency of overeating uh, it reminds me of my Eclipse but for the 2020 model they on the told that everything is fixed and you can actually track that car without any overeating issues we'll see but anyway for 2020 also there's brand new disc rotors uh, they are now solid rotors ventilated but solid uh, but two pieces rotor no more cross drills they did that because they really want the heat to be dissipating much quicker than the cross drill rotors um, braking feel in this 2020 type r is incredible in the back um, i don't know if it's just this car but i realized that i don't have the vtec turbo that you usually see on the canadian version so i don't know what's happening maybe the 2020 model got rid of that sticker but uh, anyway one of the uh, best change so far for 2020 uh, in my opinion is this the Alcantara steering wheel I mean if you're going to daily that car this is the worst thing ever but if it's just your like your weekend car it's perfect I mean the grip feels good and also they uh, changed the um, the gear lever so the, the the whole shifter assembly is much quicker uh, it's really like it's snappy every gear change is perfect I really like it uh, from what I heard uh, previous years uh, type R owners got like second gear grind and so far never had any of these so that's cool by the way here's the number of the car uh, 36 to 40 kind of cool <laughs> and fun fact I went to see another type R uh, about a week before seeing that one and the number was uh, 239 so basically one behind this one uh, in the comments I realized there's a lot of people asking me why did you decide to buy a Civic Type R it's just an overpriced Honda Civic uh, you won't have any fun with that and especially if you're going to spend money on that car and upgrade it uh, it's going to be way too expensive for what it is okay uh, honestly here's my answer to all the people saying this is an overpriced Civic don't see that car as a Civic it's simple as that this car is to be honest it's one hell of a quick car it's uh, I think it's one of the fastest if not the fastest front-wheel drive car uh, right now on the market I think there's a, like a Renault something which is I think one second faster than this car or less around the Nürburgring I'm not sure but anyway for what we can get in America this is in stock form I think the quickest hot hatch that you can get in America so uh, that's super cool and the fit and finish of that car oh my freaking god honestly it's even though it's it's a Civic inside uh, the material and everything the plastic the fit and finish is perfect I love how everything works together uh, I had another Civic before this one as you can probably tell by the beginning of the video you saw a white Civic that was my old car um, kind of the same car but you you can clearly see uh, they they put way more effort into the Type R's uh, than the regular Civic and that's a good thing for the price you pay for a car like that uh, I mean in Canada retail of these cars MSRP is around I think forty-five thousand dollars, forty-six thousand uh, dollars in Canadian money, uh, compared to the United States, which is I think thirty-seven USD. Uh, so it's an expensive car. It's almost the same price as an STI. But believe me, I had two STIs before that car, and way quicker, way sharper. It reminds me of. Uh, 
like a small entry level Porsche 911 GT3, if that makes any sense. Uh, the, the steering response, the shifter, uh, the pedal response, the throttle response, it's I, honestly, I'm, I'm lost for word in that car. I've been driving that car for the past 24 hour and wow, I'm truly impressed about what a Type R is. I'm just giving you my honest thoughts about the Civic Type R and honestly, you got to drive one in order to understand what it is and it's a very different kind of animal. So I think that most of you got one question in mind. What are the plans with the Type R? Um, if you know me and you've been following me for a while, whether it's on YouTube or Instagram, you know that all my cars, without any exception, except maybe my white Honda Civic, which I hated like crazy, uh, you know that all my cars are always project cars. I always get a new car and modify the heck out of it. So what are my plans with this car? To be honest, I would love to do engine management, uh, like something like, I don't know, Honda or something like that. And then maybe using a bit of PRL parts like uh, inlet tubes, intakes, intercoolers, stuff like that to boost up the power of the car. In terms of suspension, I think I will just go with springs because with the uh, button inside, there's a, a special mode selector in the car. And when you turn the car in R plus mode, you can actually uh, set the dampers way stiffer. So I don't really want to go with coilovers on that car. I'll probably go with, I don't know, something like a back springs or spoon springs. I'll have to see, but I don't want to get the car too low on the ground, but definitely this car needs to be lowered at least three quarter of an inch at least. So we'll see, especially with the newer wheels that I want to put on. Uh, I want to go, well, I want to downgrade in 18 inch because the 20 inch rims on that car are way too big and I don't want to, uh, I don't know, hit a pothole or something, blew a tire because I've seen on the forum, there's way too many people blowing tires up on these things. So definitely I'll go with uh, wider 18 inch rims. Um, I don't know what brand, but definitely I'm be, I'll be using Toyo tires as usual as all of my other cars. And uh, yeah, maybe doing something like an exhaust, even though there's a lot of people complaining about uh, the fact that this car's got um, special engine noise going through the speakers, like digital sound. And uh, there's a lot of mixed opinion about that, but I kind of love it. Uh, the car seems loud from the inside, so I don't know how it is from the outside, but I don't feel like I need an exhaust. Uh, we'll have to see. I mean, I'm going to try the car with a downpipe, that's for sure, but if there's no restriction whatsoever with the original exhaust, I may keep that one on the car. That's just my personal taste. I'll have to see. I know, like, I'm getting older, and I don't want to have, like, a kind of a drone noise inside the car while I'm driving, especially on long drives, because I'll be attending uh, shows in the United States with that car. So definitely there's going to be a long drive behind the wheel of that car. And I don't want a loud exhaust for that matter. So I think that's, that's about it about this car. I mean, um, uh, I may do a playlist on YouTube, especially on that car. So if you've been interested into the Civic Type R's and you want to buy one and you want to follow this build, uh, let me know. Uh, please, by the way, don't forget to subscribe to the channel because there's a lot of new projects coming your way. Uh, I There's so many requests about more videos about the Maxima. I know uh, the Furious Maximus project is still going on, but because of the virus thing, uh, we kind of slow down on the build process, but it's going to happen no matter what. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate your support, guys. Um, and you make this possible, all of this, whether it's the Fast and Furious cars. I'm doing a video, please. <laughs> well, like I said, um, it's all because of you. These cars and everything is because of your support, whether on Instagram or YouTube. I really appreciate that. That means a lot to me. So please don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and in the comments, I want suggestions on what I should do next on the Civic Type R. I'm thinking about uh, going with wheels for the first upgrade on the car. Uh, give me some suggestions in the comment down below. I really want to know what type of wheel should I get. 
Uh, I'm thinking about maybe Titan 7 wheels. They are kind of cool. So uh, let me know. I talk to you soon, guys. It was a pleasure as always. Goodbye.